<clears throat> let me see it so it's still the uh, 24th of September 2013 Tuesday and here I am in St Pancras Old Church as soon as I came in I could immediately smell the Catholicism there's an odour of incense around and I looked at this spiral staircase up to the uh, bell tower but it's locked wouldn't be too difficult to climb over that if I really wanted to give you an idea of scale that's me stretching my hand up um, anyway I was, I was reading this and I gleaned much intriguing information how you know this might go back to the 4th century AD one of the oldest sites of continuous Christian worship in Europe the church fell into disrepair various times treasures were buried here in the time of the civil war to avoid them falling into the hands of Cromwellian troops and then they were lost and he rediscovered during a renovation in the 19th century. Um, I was very surprised that not just this outer area, but the inner area is open too. But um, Percy Bysshe Shelley and his wife Mary Shelley, they first met in the churchyard at the tomb of Mary Wollstonecraft. So, because um, I was thinking, is this a Roman Catholic church? But no, it's not. It's a high Anglican one. They did the right, right Anglo Catholic who could do a bit of repair work there. So we'll sign up, side so appealing for funds. I look at the tabernacle, draped in cloth. They don't have the six candles. They don't have stations of the cross. And look, this bird, simply the presence of the Holy Spirit. With the, that disc, it's sun disc, which I suppose might be the original um, source of this notion of the, the Eucharist being round like that. One of them was bolted onto sun worship, you know, when Christians came along. Another crack in the uh, plaster. So if I'm ever if around here on a rainy day, I'll come along here. There's that bag. I found another tube when I was going to Eskisha here, way back in March, about 30th of March. But I went to that guy, Piedade, that Indian guy. Go and, you know, Piedade is piety in Portuguese. So I wish I'd returned his documents I found. I pinned his passport in Turkey. I do feel a tad guilty about that. But I thought, you know, I could have written to him on Facebook because I found him on Facebook and offered to give it back, but then I'll be in trouble for theft. Give it back and say, can you give me a reward, please? Even if you don't give me a reward, it's just get it back. But they say, why didn't you give it to Lost and Found? Klinkenberg. What a curious name. When there wasn't too much anti German feeling back then. Someone must come along to lock it in a bit. Because I'd be afraid that vandals would come in here, drug addicts, I don't know, anything. People meet up here for trysts. Wow, so children do come along, because you think hardly anybody goes to church in London, especially young people, especially the working class. Turn it off now.